let's see what's coming um, for you guys for the month of November. Okay. Um, these messages are general. They will not resonate with every single Aries. Take what applies and leave what doesn't. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What messages are there for Aries for the month of November? One more shuffle. Aries, Aries, November. Please give me energy for Aries. What messages are there for Aries? All right. Bottom of the deck, guys. Knight of Wands. Fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I feel like intuitively you know that you know that someone is going to return. Okay. Your intuition is telling you that someone is possibly going to return. They'll be back is what I'm getting. All right. And that you're on guard. Okay, you're on guard. I feel like you know like this person is gonna come back. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this energy. But your guard is most definitely up, and you're most definitely not playing. Look, Ten of Pentacles. This energy was the same energy that you guys had for the previous reading. This could be a family member, or this could be, you know, you're keeping an eye on um, your finances or your home. Something to that nature, okay? I feel like you took some type of risk in the past, okay? Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. But you're... <laughs> I just feel like you just... You just know that somebody is going to reach out to you, okay? I feel like you guys, this guard is up. And here comes the message. Here comes the... Some type of offer or some type of communication coming in, Okay? Five of Swords, you may feel defeated in this situation. And the person that is around you, they look at you as the hermit. So they may feel like you are kind of like turning your back on towards them. And then we got you feeling stuck in your head, okay? And we got you guys as energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries as an outcome, okay? Got the death card, okay? So... Your guard may be up because someone could possibly be asking you for something. Somebody could have their hand out. Someone could be asking you for money. Someone could be asking you for something in that nature, okay? Yep, because some, look, someone is calling you, or this could be you or them. It could be vice versa. But someone is trying to contact you, telling you their problems, coming to you with their problems, telling you that they, how they, um, don't have enough or they're going to get put out or something to that nature okay five of pentacles is you know kind of these people are at the wits end okay they don't have much um and they are left out in the cold okay and then an invite i see ten of swords no okay I see that there is like a cutoff in communication getting ready to come in. I feel like you tried, you may feel like this, you may feel like you've tried to put in or tried to help this person before, but they may have stabbed you in the back. I feel like you guys are afraid that um, to make, that this person is possibly toxic or there is like a cycle, a negative cycle. Um, or you're afraid that this person may possibly, like, have an addiction of some sort. Um, but I feel like this could possibly even be someone that is a friend, okay, with the Three of Cups here. Um, or they, they're wanting to bring other people with them. Yeah, they don't, someone does not have stability, okay. I'm not sure if this is you or them. But someone is, like, you know, telling you or you telling someone that you're... You're not stable. You was hoping that this person would um, make some changes and, you know, start fresh. But this person, you know, is very, um, is just feeling left out, okay? I feel like you don't want to communicate with this person, okay? You don't. 
you've tried to help you this you possibly have been working on yourself okay and you possibly are too busy to help you know help a person that you possibly helped before and you didn't see any changes and they see you as just like you know they feel like you are this is you guys' energy with this emperor card they could be feeling as if you have kind of went cold or silent on them okay for some of you guys this is a sexual thing okay someone may have like a some type of addiction you could be dealing with the capricorn as well but i feel like you I, I, I'm just picking up on communication, like com other people talking to other people. Um, Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I got the star card here for Aquarius. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Knight of Swords. Okay, so this is like really fast case communicate like someone is either rushing towards you with something to say or you want to rush to them um and you want to speak and say something to them okay why is why is the nine of wands here yeah your guard is up big time king of swords like <laughs> you're you're ready to tell this person how it is okay you're ready to tell. Give this person a piece of your mind. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Let's let's see what what's going on. This could be work related. Okay. For some of you guys, this could be someone at the job, um, and that you cut off communication with. Let's see what other messages we have. First card is how um, you feel about how you feel about them. Second card is how they feel about you. And third card is going to be like what action they're going to be taking towards you in the near future. Here we go again that hermit card four of wands some someone this could be you know family oriented and then this king of cups again okay so some people may feel like you are you know taking time away for doing something on your own or turned your back on family i'm getting that as well for some of you guys this could be like a family member have you waiting to see if they're going to have the courage to come to you okay maybe you've been hearing about this um and you're trying to block them from coming to you <laughs> you're trying to block them out from coming to you or you want to just speak your mind speak your thoughts you want to say it to them but maybe they haven't came to you about it yet they feel as if we got this two of wands okay so they're trying to figure out which what is the best decision for them okay they feel like they thought you would have had their back and they haven't heard from you or haven't communicated with you i feel like They feel there's some conflict, okay? They feel conflicted emotionally. Um, and there's something here about waiting for the real story to come out. 
Okay, something about waiting for the true story to come out. Um, why is the hangman here? I feel like they're working on themselves, okay? They do plan on working on themselves. They are focused in on their, their finances and how to better themselves. But they haven't, um, haven't communicated with you, haven't heard from you. They may feel like I, um, that you've heard the news, um, but you haven't reached out to, to them you know, to check on them to see if they were okay. But you are possibly what feeling like, you know, you're waiting for them to have the courage to, you know, tell you what's going on. Why is the magician here? The moon. Ooh. Getting real mystical energy here. There could be something that's hidden. Or someone here is being, you know, they may feel like you are trying to be manipulative. They, they, you feel like this person is manipulative, okay? Um, why is the moon card here? Keeping something a secret. I'm getting magic here. Someone could be working some stuff here. But it's something about they feel, you feel as a, you feel that they've been keeping this a secret. Eight of Swords. Excuse me. Mm. You may feel like this person is just stuck um, and needs to let something go. They've been keeping something hidden. You may feel like they've been keeping something a secret that, and it's something that they need to let go of. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups. It could be partying, drinking. You may just feel like this person needs to let something go. You may feel like this person has some type of addiction or, you know, codependency. Okay, and you may feel like this person needs to let something go. Very interesting read, guys. Let's pull the love uh, cards to see what comes out for you guys in love. What messages are there for Aries in love? soulmate and separation so some of you guys may be separated from a soulmate okay we have attraction past life relationships and codependency there we have again with this codependency some of you guys are dealing with someone that is like an obsessed is obsessed or has some type of addiction or it could be a Capricorn because to me the codependency card is like Capricorn's energy in the tarot. But someone here is a, has an addictive energy, okay, and is codependent or really needy. Okay, let's see. Here we go again. Death card and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone could be saying that they don't have enough or they don't 
have family or they don't have money. The star card, Aquarius' energy. Someone is trying to make someone be more attractive or you want someone to work on themselves to be more attractive. It could be someone from your past. Someone is changing, um, someone's changing the way that they communicate or come off. I'm getting like a sad, with this codependency card, I'm just getting like a sad story here. Like there's an ending, a breakup or some sort, and it's just like an apology or We got the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So there's definitely some into some heartbreaking situation. Um, I don't pick up on third party energy here. I'm just getting that somebody is like sad or sorry um, or given some type of excuse or apology or something to that note or wants forgiveness. And someone is most definitely hoping for um, a second chance, okay? This is interesting, um, Aries. You guys let me know what's going on in the comment section. If any of these messages resonated with you guys, leave me a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the bell to subscribe. And make sure you hit the notification buttons, okay? All right, guys. Until next time, ciao for now.